Hello and welcome to another edition of Golf Center TV newscast for October 2005. I'm Dave Gardy. Callaway continues to make headlines with its FT3 driver as LPGA Hall of Fame golfer Annika Sorenstam and reigning U.S. Open champion Michael Campbell both drove the FT3 to Pro Tour victories. Sorenstam's total of 5 under par 208 gave her a one-stroke victory over Paula Kramer in the LPGA John Q. Hammonds Hotel Classic for her seventh win of the year, while Campbell outdueled Ireland's Paul McGinley in the HSBC World Match Play Championships 2-1 and one at Wentworth Golf Club in the PGA European Tour event at Virginia Water, England. Carlos Franco of Paraguay, also a Callaway golf staff professional, was a runner-up in the 84 Lumber Classic and averaged over 306 yards off the tee for the week. Recently, I caught up with Mary Leahy, regional representative for Callaway, who told me a little more about the FT3 technology and Callaway as a company. Now, there's a lot of exciting things happening with Callaway. Can you tell us about them? Yes, we have some great, wonderful, exciting things going on. Um, the new introduction of the new FT3 driver, which was used by Michael Campbell to win the U.S. Open. Um, it's the driver that Annika and Phil have been using. A great new technology we have, combining carbon composite and titanium, making a very thin, hot face. Uh, the driver is distance with accuracy is our tagline, and it is absolutely phenomenal. And that's this driver right here? That's the new FT3 driver. And there's a kind of a new uh, process for us. We've got several different variations in fitting that you can do. If you're a slicer, we can give you a little driver with a draw bias, which means we put a little less weight in the toe. If you, if you have a tendency to uh, hit the ball fairly straight, we'll put you in a neutral bias. And we also have a fade bias. So there's three different options, and that's where we put the discretionary weighting in the back of the club head. So now, this is going to help me in a long drive situation, because you have a history of long drives in golf. We do. The new 454 driver is the world's longest driver now. David Mobley used it in the Remax Long Drive Championship last fall. So that's been a phenomenal driver with the new CT testing that the USGA has set up as their limit. And what's that for the layman? For the layman, it's characteristic of time. Um, and what that does is a new test by the USGA to make the driver conforming. Um, ball speed off the face, milliseconds, you know, a, a full testing range from the USGA. Um, we've made a hot, thin face driver in the 454, and now we also have done it in the FT3. So the ball speed coming off the FT3 with the discretionary weighting that we put in, um, in the carbon and the CT and the variable face thickness technology that we have is a few miles an hour faster even than the 454. You can see other manufacturer interviews on the archived webcast link on the front page of Golf Center TV. Virtual Caddy is a new website that's attracting a lot of attention. It's an audio-visual guide to golf courses delivered on CD or downloaded onto your home or office PC via the web. Using an interactive menu, users are able to see multiple photographs of each hole with views from tee to green. Once a hole is selected, an audio tour is brought to life with animated graphics used to highlight the line, the hazards, and other key points of interest. Additional options such as local knowledge provide tips and information that only would be known by a regular user of the course. Here's a demo of Virtual Caddy. My name is Bernard Gallagher. Please allow me to be your Virtual Caddy. Hole 10. This par 5 plays uphill and into the prevailing wind. If you can keep the ball straight, you will have a good chance of a low score here. From the tee, the ideal shot is over the pond and up the right-hand side, avoiding the water on the left. From this position, the most important tactic is to keep your ball on the fairway, as anything offline, left or right, will wind its way into the woods. Now you will have an approach shot to an open and wide green, with the only real trouble coming from the rhododendron bushes at the back, if you hit it too long. You can access Virtual Caddy through Golf Center TV under our selected video from the web link at the bottom of the channel page. McGregor putters, designed by Bobby Grace, have garnered over $22 million in tournament winnings worldwide in the past 12 months. The buzz is growing on how the technology and design of these putters can affect gameplay, which is proven by the growing number of tour players who are willing to use the putters without even being paid. 
I personally didn't really believe a putter design could actually dramatically alter your game, but then when I actually had the opportunity to test the McGregor MOI putters, no matter where I hit the ball in the club face, it seemed to go in the right direction. Bobby Grace attributes that to the moment of inertia, or MOI, which describes the effect of the impact on the club head. A high MOI means less twisting at impact, which stabilizes the putter and widens the sweet spot, even on off-center hits. We caught up with Bobby Grace during a recent demonstration at Washington Golf Centers. What I'm going to do is ask you to hit it quite a ways off the toe, about right there right there, just at the edge where the insert stops, and hit it firm at the hole, and you tell me if you feel that blade opening at impact. Go ahead. There you are. And hit it firm. Is that thing wavering? Not a bit. Well, to touch on this design again, we wanted to make an alignment putter, so you see the, the red line. Um, so you've got an alignment putter, you've got an inertia putter, and we also have a very solid feel from the face. The insert you see there looks sort of, well, it just looks like copper. But if you knew what we do just to get that copper to feel like it feels and performs like it does, we take uh, forged beryllium copper, which is more condensed molecules, we don't investment cast it and then heat treat it to make it more condensed. We forge it, which is a, a higher quality. We mill it, and then we reverse anneal it. You can catch the entire Bobby Grace presentation at Golf Center TV under the Equipment Technology Programming link. Cal Ripken, Maryland Governor Bob Ehrlich, Gary Williams, and James Brown were among the celebrities who participated in the third annual Celebrity Golf Classic hosted by the Washington Post columnist Tony Kornheiser and Michael Wilbon on Friday, October 7th, at Whiskey Creek Golf Course located near Frederick, Maryland. The tournament benefits the D.C. College Access Program, which is a nonprofit organization working in partnership with the District of Columbia School System that provides counseling and financial assistance to students who might otherwise never have the opportunity to attend or graduate from college. Steve Gerald of the Golf Center TV news team caught up with some of the celebrities at this event. This uh, DC CAP is a uh, fantastic charity which puts a counselor in every DC public school, every one, and serves every student. And we offer counseling to help the kids get through all the steps to apply to college and get accepted to college. And then we offer scholarships of uh, up to 2,000 a year for up to five years. And we continue to counsel the kids once they're in college. Uh, it's been very gratifying, and it's resulted in a nice increase in the number of D.C. public school kids going on to college and graduating. I've worked for Don Graham. Wilbon and I have worked for Don Graham for 26 years. And until two years ago, he never asked us for a thing. And we both think the world of him and would follow him to the ends of the earth. And he said, would you guys put your name on this golf tournament? We had never even heard of D.C. Cap. And he explained that to put kids who graduated from D.C. high schools into college, he was taking the money out of his own pocket. And, I mean, he's got money, but nobody has that much money. And we were eager and happy to help, um, and we'll continue to do that. You can access all the interviews from the third annual Celebrity Golf Classic under the Golf Tournaments link on the Golf Center TV homepage. That's it for another edition of Golf Center TV Newscast for October 2005. I'm Dave Gardy. Thanks for joining us.